This was originally an elementary school that was pretty much gutted and renovated from the inside to basically create these big open workspaces even within the classroom. There's a lot of modular type furniture that is in there that can be easily moved around for kids to put in any kind of configuration that they need to work in. We have a lot of open spaces in this building, especially where you first came in, that are what we call our media center, which is kind of modeled on like a student union building and a college kind of feel. That's a big kind of congregation area for our students who during their off time or before their classes start in the morning, they kind of just meet out there. It's the place that um, everyone comes to like either relax or work on projects with their group. And the couches are comfortable to just, you know, sit on and really get down to business. This is our video wall. It just displays whatever's happening around the school, like some of the best projects of a classroom, different events that are happening, that are coming up. Everyone's issued a MacBook Pro, so it's understandable that you might have some issues like technical difficulties, you might blow a fuse, and there's a technical advisor over there that helps us with any Mac problems. So if our charger breaks, he can help us. So we have one of those on campus. With every laptop issued, we have um, our Adobe suite and our Microsoft suite. And people unaware of those programs need an introduction course, of course. So we learn like Premiere, um, Illustrator, all those Adobe products. All around the building, you'll see a lot of workspaces that are set up with little mini conference tables and whiteboards in rooms. These are little workspaces for our groups to go collaborate in during their class time. If they need kind of a more quiet environment where they can plan, their group can go to one of those work rooms, work out their projects in there, use the whiteboards to kind of model out stuff for everybody to see. Is A lot of our rooms are opened into the hallway, meaning that fourth wall uh, to the hallway is all glass. So any given moment you can see, just walking down the hall, what's going on in all the classrooms. This is a kind of a big thing for the kids to get used to when they come to school here, but I would argue that it's an even bigger thing for the teachers to get used to when they're, uh, especially coming from a traditional environment, no longer can you be the teacher who just goes back to your room and close the door and do what you've been doing. You're constantly on display. You'll notice that we don't have any bells ringing. We are set up on what we uh, a modular schedule, where our day is broken up into 21 20-minute mods throughout sections throughout the day. So the way that works is each class is allotted a certain number of mods based on its needs. So like a standalone subject that's being taught, like Algebra 2, would be given three mods for its class. So it's a 60-minute class. But like those integrated classes that are two subjects, those are allotted four mods. So they're an 80-minute class because they need a little bit longer. I start off in my Algebra 2 class, so that's three mods, which means it's an hour long because each mod is 20 minutes. While our, our space is delightful and it was, it was appropriate for our first steps, I think that if I had the opportunity to help guide the process for a building to be constructed, one of the things I would think about is how to make the spaces even more flexible, to not confining you know, this kind of learning happens in this room, but that this room can be used for this purpose. Uh, thinking about larger collaboration spaces is another thing that we're talking about. We're currently considering, well, how could we move you know, five or six smart boards into one room and have that be a collaboration space? The other thing that I would say for, as a, from a design standpoint, and I know this isn't about the construction of the building, but it is certainly about what you put inside of it, is casters on everything. Because the moment that you know, it is, uh, you've know, got a 100 pound table on legs, it's not going anywhere. Uh, you're you're going to need a small crew of people to move it. The other thing I would say is don't overlook the details. Um, who knows what technology will bring our way, but you got to have power for it. So in thinking about, you know, are you going to power them up on the floor? Are there places, are there ways to do that? Don't confine them, again, to the walls of a said space. That isn't the way you want to go.